the Foreign Minister of the Republic of Turkey uh, in South Africa and uh, we've had uh, extensive deliberations and I now invite uh, the Minister to uh, make his closing remarks. I will speak after he has spoken and close our meeting and then we shall allow you the opportunity to pose one or two questions. Uh, not all of you will be able to, to ask questions as you know the tradition, uh, but uh, we, we will allow a few. So Minister, over to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let me thank first my dear colleague Foreign Minister Pandor uh, for her wor warm welcome and uh, warm hospitality. Uh, the close relations between our friendly nations date back to, uh, to the late uh, 19th century. Yesterday, I visited uh, the tomb of the last Ottoman Council General Mehmet uh, Remzi Bey in Johannesburg. We also inaugurated the new building of our uh, Consul General in Cape Town. Today, uh, together with our colleagues, we had extensive discussions on bilateral and international uh, issues. This year, uh, we wish to hold the first uh, binational uh, commission meeting in, in Turkey. Our trade volume has increased by 50% and exceeded uh, $3 billion uh, dollars in uh, 2022. And we want to organize the fourth joint economic commission meeting in Turkey to discuss all the aspects of our economic cooperation. And today we also discuss the pos possibility of convening a uh, business uh, forum uh, as well. And we discuss opportunities in infrastructure and uh, energy projects. We also, uh, we are also glad to announce uh, that the MOU on scientific and technological cooperation has been signed between our uh, relevant uh, authorities. Granting additional frequencies for Turkish Airlines to Johannesburg and Cape Town will increase uh, trade and uh, tourism. And today we agreed that we have to reach uh, the pre-pandemic level. And we should exceed that, that and, and there is a uh, potential. So we will continue promoting South Africa and uh, Turkey. And the Turkish Cooperation and Development Agency, uh, TICA, uh, opened its office in Pretoria in 2017 and so far it has implemented more than 50 projects uh, in many areas including uh, restoration, health, education and uh, vocational uh, training. Uh, TICA was also among the first organizations to bring food parcels after the floods in uh, Kiwazulu Natal in uh, April. Uh, I know that education is an important subject for my dear colleague uh, Naledi, and the Turkish Mari Foundation will open its uh, second school in uh, Cape Town uh, soon, and they open their first school here in, uh, I mean, Johannesburg in 2021. 20, uh, and the Yunus Emre Turkish Cultural Center in Johannesburg has been operational since 2017 as well. I, 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 I was told that there is a huge interest on uh, South African uh, side. And we are ready to increase the number of the students who benefit from Turkey scholarships. We need to promote Turkey scholarships uh, together as well, the analogy. And uh, today we discuss consular issues as well, including visa and work permits. And we wish to hold uh, consular uh, consultations uh, in uh, Ankara, uh, possibly uh, this year. It is our turn, that's why I say uh, Ankara, to host that uh, meeting. And we once again underline the importance of uh, the fight against uh, FETO, uh, which is a threat to every country, not only Turkey and not only to uh, South Africa. We also uh, exchange views on regional and global um, uh, affairs, and Turkey's approach towards Africa is built on equal partnership, mutual respect, and a win-win uh, strategy. We will continue to work with South Africa within our um, Africa partnership uh, policy. And we have good cooperation in South Africa in the G20, uh, the analogy, once again, uh, congratulations um, uh, for the uh, assuming uh, the presidency of uh, BRICS uh, once again. 
and uh, President Erdogan was here for the last BRICS summit uh, here in uh, Johannesburg. And we also discussed developments in Ukraine and Ethiopia and in uh, Africa. And we welcome the agreement between the government of Ethiopia and uh, TPLF. And we appreciate the role um, South Africa is assuming in this file. Once again, thank you and congratulations for the achievements, the analogy. And on Ukraine, together with the UN, we continue to do our best for the smooth operation of the Istanbul grain deal. Uh, we share the same view with, uh, on the need uh, for an end to hostilities and to start uh, negotiations, meaningful negotiations uh, for a, a just uh, peace. And we will continue to work together uh, to this end. After the press conference, uh, we will announce the integration of the Marif Center uh, for Turkish Studies at the University of uh, Pretoria. Uh, there, an agreement between the Antalya Diplomacy Forum and the Institute for Security Studies will be uh, signed on content. Let me take this opportunity to uh, extend my invitation again uh, to Naledi. Antalya Diplomacy Forum and that we will uh, be holding uh, in March uh, again. So the analogy um, as two important countries, uh, I think our cooperation will make a difference in addressing the current uh, challenges that we have been facing uh, all together. And I am ready to continue working uh, with you to that end. Thank you very much once again for the warm hospitality. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Minister. Uh, Your Excellency, Minister Kafusoglu uh, Mevlut, uh, Excellency Ambassadors Kandas and other ambassadors present uh, in our meeting, uh, Director General uh, Dango. Uh, Minister, I'm really encouraged by our discussions today. And uh, I'm of the opinion that the decisions we've taken are going to bear fruit in consolidating the strong relations that already exist between our two countries. Our discussions were very frank and open, which I like. And I'm pleased about the progress on a variety of issues uh, that uh, we uh, confirmed uh, today. South Africa attaches great importance to fostering and deepening our strategic partnership through strengthening our stru structured bilateral mechanism and ensuring that our two countries maintain regular contact. And I regard this visit as part of that process. The inauguration of the Binational Commission, which I hope will take place this year, and the next round of the Joint Economic Commission must be our shared top priority, as this will signal an increased expansion of our bilateral relationship. I like action, Minister. Me too. I, I don't like talk. I look forward, therefore, to us implementing our commitments and to us really continuing what is clearly becoming a very close working relationship. One, uh, Mevlut, that I truly appreciate. Our goal is to work unrelentingly toward the upliftment of our respective nations and to do so through the instruments of foreign policy that we have at our disposal. We have a shared goal of witnessing a significant and imminent increase in economic, social, cultural, and scientific interactions between our countries. In this meeting, we reviewed the status of some of the outstanding agreements and reiterated our commitment to areas of work which remain as our agenda items. More importantly, we agreed that we'll encourage our colleagues in other departments to be responsive to issues that we and our teams have identified as important for our bilateral cooperation. Sometimes we agree on a set of actions, but a colleague in the health department doesn't act as we expect. So we need to ensure that we sit 
on those colleagues and make them respond to us. I'm really thrilled that you visited our country following our discussions in Antalya in March last year. And I look forward to more visits by you and a continuing strong partnership between Turkey and South Africa. I wish to conclude by affirming our support for the efforts undertaken by President Erdogan to encourage a peaceful settlement between Ukraine and Russia. South Africa, if it can, and the rest of the continent would want to play a role in such a process, but we really thank His Excellency President Adogan for the leadership he has shown in seeking to end conflict in that region. Thank you very much once more, Minister, to you and all the colleagues from your ministry and department and to our team uh, in South Africa. Uh, I see this as the beginning of even greater partnership between Turkey and South Africa. Thank you very much. Thank you.